Hello, welcome to our weekly video with you, sharing um, my my latest and greatest, well, some, one of my projects that I really like and I like to share with you so you can have a go, be inspired, maybe have a go making it yourself, all of that sort of stuff. So welcome anyone who's coming to join me today. This card is one I used um, as a thank you card for my customers and I also used it as a display at a, a recent event. So it's featuring the gorgeous stargazing paper and the coordinating holographic foils combined with layering leaves and petal park. So even though this is a stargazing paper, I'm using something entirely different from, from the stargazing um, suite. So let's get all our bits and pieces out here. Check out this holographic paper. Does that show up there? Isn't that amazing? It's the most beautiful paper. So while I've got that in my hand, I can punch out a couple of leaves using that. There we go. One, oops, sorry about that. Loud noise. Just going to tear you off there to make it easier to use the punch so it doesn't get caught. There we go. There we are. So that's all I need. Maybe I'll Squish another one out of here, making the most of my cardstock because it's too good to waste. I'll be able to hide that one behind and one of these. I think I'm getting good value out of my this lovely foil. Okay, so there's the foil. There's some leaves done there. One, two, three, four. And get rid of my scraps. Okay. And I'm using Moody Mauve, one of our new in colours, because it coordinates with the paper. White for the inside, Blackberry Bliss, and white for the inside of my card. And then here's another bit of that holographic foil. I've already embossed it using the Countryside Blossoms embossing folder. Okay, that's the one that goes with the um, Countryside Corners and the Countryside in paper. But it looks, look at that foil, look at that. It's got blues and pinks and all sorts of colours in it. So this is a recessed panel card. So I'm going to pop this one in there. And then there's my die cut using the nested essentials. I'm going to make two pieces either side from the stargazing paper. Now, I just want to make sure I've got these exactly right. So that they line up just to give the con continuity of the cardstock. So this is the length of the card and then my DSP designer series paper is just half a centimeter shorter in width than the white cardstock which gives me a nice little edge there okay and then my glue on this one and then this one exactly the same just a little bit shorter so that gives me that nice little white border on there okay now I just want to double check all this just before I start gluing things down so that one goes in there and then that one goes in there and yes I did use dimensionals on the back of those so that's about the spot where I want that to go. Now, because this is um, foil and it has been embossed, you can see that it's a little bit curly. Okay, so I'm going to use tear and tape on the back of this because it's stronger and it will ensure that it doesn't curl up quite so much to give you a much flatter card and across the top and the bottom there. Okay. All right, just get my take your pick tool, take the backs off them. One, two, three, <coughs> excuse me, four. <clears throat> okay, now just before I glue this down, I want to make sure that this overlaps properly. All right, so that's there. And 
pop that down to the takey pick ah uh, the tear and tape really works well with this okay next i'm going to put dimensionals on my two pieces of cardstock and designer series paper and having the designer series paper stuck onto some thick white card also gives it a lot more stability to create, create your recessed panel a little bit better hello thank you for joining me today thank you for saying hello it's lovely to have to know you're here with me as i create my lovely card now just before i stick this on make sure i've got that around the right way so this is lining up exactly with the edge of the card there we go there's that one and then dimensionals on this one as well <clears throat> Okay, and line that one up right on the edge there. There we go. So there's your basic recessed panel. Letting the gorgeous stargazing paper do a lot of the heavy lifting and then the beautiful foil shining out inside. All right, next I'll do some stamping, I think. I've got, just pop you over the side there. Just get a bit of scrap paper. <clears throat> just in case I make a mess, which is highly likely. Now that card I've already made is a thank you so much, but I want to see if I can use the sending hugs to see if that will fit on my, not really, so I can't. So I might just do hello, which I know will fit inside my nested essentials frame and I'll get my Blackberry Bliss card ah, ink. Here and stamp my hello so that way I can use this card for oh no that was terrible stamping wasn't it I flip that over now I know I'm on TV for some people only a couple of people in the world will see if I fail at this but because it's um, a photo polymer stamp I thought I might give it a go, see if I can line it up and stamp it again. I don't like my chances, but I thought I'd give it a go. Nah, can't use that one. So I will use that side there. I think my ink pad is a bit, it doesn't get used very often. Blackberry Bliss is not in the Julia, <clears throat> not in the Julia realm really. But it goes really nicely with this designer series paper so I'll stamp so happy to celebrate you give it plenty of pressure so that it goes really well and then I'll get some flowers some little flowers I actually um, used this card in a blog hop last week I think and the theme was to use designer series paper, embossing and flowers. So I used dry embossing, the stargazing designer series paper and flowers from the Petal Park stamp set. Okay, now these ones I wanna punch out. So I just wanna make sure I've got my punch the right way around so that I know which way to put them. So it's easy to punch them. There we go. So that's all my Blackberry Bliss, and I have done them in a different colour to what I did previously, but I'm going to add some extra colour using beautiful bubble bath ink and a blending brush on the insides of my flowers. So they're going to have more intense colour than the ones on my example card. And then a little bit of bubble bath on these ones as well. That's a quick and easy way to add extra colour, isn't it? Just add a little bit with a blending brush rather than colour it all in. There we go. Now I can get you out of the way. And I'll punch my flowers out. And it's so much easier to use your blending brush on your flowers before you punch them out too. Okay, now it's time to assemble the card. Let's put this one here first. Let's 
There we go. There's that one. And that goes on the inside. Inside of my card, like that. So happy to celebrate you and hello. Now, this time, now my other one's up a bit higher, but I think I want to show off more of that splotchiness, so I'm going to put my hello down lower. But before I stick down my hello, I'm going to put a bit of glue here and here and attach my leaves to it. So that side and that side. And attach my leaves there and there. And another one over there. And just make sure that one fits. Another one there. Oop, sticking my fingers anyway. All right, now that I've got all of them assembled, then I'll turn that over and using my dimensionals again, anchor all those leaves about um, so that they are actually stuck. So having the, the little bit of adhesive on it before I stuck them down helped me know where to place them but then the actual sticking is going to be done with the dimensionals at the back there we go okay there we are hello hang on i'm gonna add so there is where the recess is. I'm going to add double layers of dimensionals there so that it doesn't sink. Okay, so two dimensionals, one on top of each other. There we go. And then my little flowers. I did have another one somewhere. Ooh, wonder what happened to it. Oh, there it is. There it is. I'm going to just give them a bit of dimension before I stick them on by using the lid of my take your pick tool the lovely end of the lid there got my flowers on a piercing mat because it's got lots of give and just squish in the middle using the lid of my take your pick tool on the putty end okay so that makes them all pop up nice and evil evenly and then add some dimensionals behind it and one there, one over there, and, oh, I think I need a mini dimensional for you. Here we go. There's a little mini dimensional. Beside there. And last of all, some rhinestones, iridescent rhinestones, my all-time favorites so a couple inside the flowers to act as a bit of sparkle and then a couple flying around the page as well here we go what do you think of that as a different way to use the stargazing paper isn't that lovely i do the paper is gorgeous it's really really gorgeous and it um, creates lots of interest just with the the, um, the starriness of the sky there you go hello thank you so much stargazing paper with some embossing and flowers so totally different way of using the stargazing paper rather than the space theme thank you so much for joining me and i look forward to seeing you again next time bye, -bye now